Good morning, everyone. I want to thank you for joining us today. We are here to tell about what the city is doing, about a problem that a lot of Angelinos are facing now. I'm talking about potholes. As all of you know, we have seen one intense rainstorm after another this year. But each one of these storms has brought us the water we so desperately need, but it's also left behind damaged potholes, roads all across the city, and mudslides. For Angelinos who have hit a pothole on their way to work or school, it's more than an inconvenience. It's also a financial burden. Our city is increasingly unaffordable, and these damages could mean missed days at work and unaffordable costs that create trade-offs at home. But we're responding to these intense storms with an intense response. City workers are pulling out all the stops, but not just to prepare every pothole that's reported, but also to be proactive. That means driving across the city throughout this district and all others to assess the condition of our streets and identify and repair and damage right away. On this stretch of Sepulveda alone, there have been 14 pothole repairs done since late January, some of which were proactively identified and fixed by the staff at our Bureau of Street Services, our Streets LA. But we also need you, the public, to help. Almost all of us hit a pothole at one time or another on the way to work or on the way to pick up our kids from school. So all Angelinos who encounter a pothole, please let us know. Reporting a pothole is easy. You can call 311 or you can file a report through the 311 app. And I know many Angelinos today may be watching this who have already run over potholes and who have already had to pay for damages out of their own pockets. You can visit the city clerk's website, clerklacity.gov slash clerk at, to apply for assistance. As I said, Streets LA is working hard right now to repair potholes by the next business day. I want to thank you. I want to thank so much to the workers who stand behind me who do this job every day, day in and day out. They are working to make sure that LA is safe and to make sure that our roads are repaired. I want to introduce Councilwoman for this district, Monica Rodriguez, who is also the Chair of Public Safety. Councilwoman. Thank you so much, Mayor, and thank you for joining us here in the beautiful 7th District that I so proudly get the honor to represent. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to talk about a proactive effort to address the chronic problems that our city faces with over 400 square miles of city streets, proactively identifying and repairing so many potholes that have impacted families, as Mayor Bass has indicated. Um, when you think about Sepulveda and so many of our major corridors, this is how we're proactively trying to respond to the potholes that we have uh, on our major corridors. And the reason why is because we know that many Angelinos traverse these streets with regularity. And so ensuring that we're making the most efficient use of our city staff to identify these, primar these primary uh, large-scale corridors is the first approach to proactively addressing the potholes in, in uh, throughout the city of Los Angeles. And I'm proud that we're beginning that work here in the seventh district, which will continue throughout the city of Los Angeles. Because as many folks know, our city crews have been really stretched, not just through COVID and through attrition, but we are in fact hiring. If you want a wonderful city job, the Bureau of Street Services is hiring. And we're looking for more Angelinos that wanna step into these roles to help be a part of fixing our city. And so you want to have a great career, you can start just as many of these crews behind me have, including our director for the Bureau of Street Services, who started on one of these repair crews uh, over 30 years ago. And so we want to invite Angelinos to help be part of civic engagement, help be part of their city family so that we can help do these repairs. What I'm most proud of, and, and while we are focused here on Sepulveda Boulevard, which as many folks know, is a major artery that extends not just from the San Fernando Valley, but deep throughout the, across the city of Los Angeles. As we begin here, what I'm also excited to feature is some of the pedestrian oriented work that we're going to be implementing here along the Sepulveda Corridor. Mission Mile is a $39 million grant that we secured, third in the state, third place in the entire state, to invest in reconfiguring and making Sepulveda Boulevard safer for pedestrians, for residents in this area. And so I'm very excited that while we're starting here with these temporary fixes, because 
you know, let's be honest, folks. Water is the kryptonite to our asphalt. And so we need to be better about making sure that we are keeping Angelinos safe, not just for the vehicular traffic, but also to those individuals that have no other means of transportation and are riding their bicycles. We don't want them to hit a pothole and become injured by that as well. So we are taking a comprehensive approach here in the city of Los Angeles. We're starting here in the Northeast San Fernando Valley. And I wanna thank our Bureau of Street Services for aligning their resources, their limited and, and critical resources, not just responding to the mudslides and all the other uh, events that cause them to uh, respond throughout the course of our city, but they are involved in helping to assemble the crews to align to uh, fast track the repairs on these major corridors and they're beginning here in the northeast san fernando valley and it's going to be uh attended through the rest of the city of los angeles and so with that i want to say my very deep gratitude to the incredible men and women of the bureau of street services and i'd like to at this time turn it over to their incredible leader mr keith mose um thank you good morning everybody Thank you, Mayor Bass and Councilman Rodriguez for your leadership in tackling core infrastructure problems like potholes. Anywhere, anywhere in the world where there are paved roads, there will be potholes. This is especially true for Los Angeles where we maintain 6,500 miles of streets. Keeping our streets safe and passable is our responsibility when we take that seriously. Potholes always uh, appear more frequently in, rain, in the rainy season and repairing potholes is a daily task for us and is one of our most requested services from our Bureau. I applaud our crew's commitment and can-do spirit, especially in the wet weather conditions we have faced so far this year. Since December 30th, we have received 19,642 pottle repair uh, service requests. We have successfully completed 17,459 of those requests. Our response time on average during normal times is, um, conditions is one to three days. Since the storms began, we have been repairing pottles within 10 days depending on conditions. Um, we're making good progress, but as the mayor stated, it's not enough for anyone who's been impacted due to a pothole. And our proactive plan is utilizing, utilizing machine applied skin patching to cover larger areas with multiple potholes. This addresses larger areas that our smaller pothole trucks alone cannot handle. And Streets LA supervisors are proactively generating service requests by driving and inspecting 500 to 700 miles daily throughout the city. We are focusing, uh, like Councilman Rodriguez said, on major corridors, like right here today on Sepulveda Boulevard, and we're diverting many of our crews uh, from our regular duties, having them address potholes to keep up with the demand. We'll be working with Mayor Bass and Councilman Rodriguez to bring in additional resources to increase our capacity and fix our street infrastructure more quickly. Thank you, Mayor Bass and Councilman Rodriguez. Um, Mayor Bass. <laughs> Uh, after being in office now for a little over 100 days, one of the first things that we needed to do was to build our administration. And I'm very proud of the deputy mayors that we have brought on board. Deputy Mayor Randall Winston, I wanted to introduce him to Los Angeles, our deputy mayor for infrastructure. He has been on the front lines of responding to the storms, whether we are talking about mudslides or potholes. He has been accessible to Angelinos, attending community meetings, and responding to one situation after another. Randall Winston, Deputy Mayor. Thank you, uh, Mayor. Randall Winston, again, look, I'll just emphasize that infrastructure is a priority for this mayor. And what you're seeing behind us uh, is a demonstration of that. In the days, weeks, and months ahead to underscore you will see a proactive, responsive approach to improving the livability of our city. And that includes everything from our sidewalks, our streets, our major thoroughfares, bridges, tunnels, tree trimming, every component of our public right of way in partnership with Streets, streets LA and the other bureaus that make up our board of public works. Uh, but to re-emphasize both what the mayor and the councilwoman mentioned, we need your help. Uh, we have a vacancy rate of over 20% uh, across Streets LA and our other departments in the Board of Public Works. And so if you are looking for work, if you wanna be a part of the effort, please apply. And thank you again.